Uh, here's a video for some of the items that you can check when you're buying a used computer. In this case, I'm using a MacBook Pro. It's a Core i5 13 inch MacBook Pro. Um, if you're meeting in a car, if you're not meeting in a restaurant or some coffee place, um, and the seller is saying that the MacBook is not charging, bring yourself one of these. This can save you money, save you heartache, save you pain. This is a, a DC to AC converter. What, what this does is it plugs into your cigarette lighter and you can plug in your charger right there and connect it to the, to the computer. So if you can buy one of these on your way or order one online a day or two before you meet this person. Um, if you're meeting in a restaurant and you get there and the computer is already plugs to the wall ask the cell if it is okay to unplug it from the wall so you unplug it and now you want to turn on battery percentage this is going to come in handy later on so as we are testing the computer we want to monitor the the battery and see how quickly it's draining so right now it's showing percentage is 92 percent and uh, it's been a minute so at 92 percent next thing that you want to do is you want to test all the keys on the keyboard so on the macbook i usually open the notes and i'll type in a b c up to z and do the same for the numbers so let's get this out of the way so a B C D F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Next thing you want to do is to check the numbers, make sure that the you're able to type in one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. So it looks like uh, all the layers are working and the numbers are working as well. Uh, next thing that you want to do is to check the, make sure none of the keys are sticky. So this uh, brightens the screen or dims the screen. So play around with that, make sure that is working. You also want to check keyboard brightness make sure that is working if you have not connected to the Wi-Fi connect it to the Wi-Fi and next step we want to do is we want to check and make sure that the microphone and the speakers are working so we get out of here hello Siri can you hear me okay I think my volume is off it's another volume. Right. The current volume is 88%. Okay, so Siri can hear us. Uh, next thing you want to do is, uh, if you're already on Wi-Fi, connect to the internet. You want to just make sure that they're, they're able to connect to the internet here. So usually go to YouTube. See how quickly it loads. If it's loading really slowly, then you can tell the seller that you know what there might be an issue. Gives you a point to negotiate. Uh, Hi, I'm looking for. So we're able to connect to the internet fairly quickly, and it looks like the speakers, the microphone, and the Wi-Fi is working, and the keys are working. We tested we tested A, B, C, up to Z, and we we're also able to test the one, two, three, fours. And um, the next thing that you want to do is to, if you have uh, a screenshot of uh, what the, the sellers post, now you want to compare the screenshots to what you're seeing on here about this Mac. So compare what the seller told you, if they told you it has four gigabytes of RAM to make sure that it has that. If they said it's eight, then make sure it has eight. And if they said it was a Core i5, 
make sure it's a core i5 so how, how do you get there you just uh, go to the top left corner click on the apple symbol about this mac and this should come up so this is a core i5 uh, mid 2012 2.5 gigahertz and 4 gigs of ram you also want to confirm the storage this is your hard drive space the hard drive size and so this one is a one terabyte hard drive and uh, it has been recently uh, restored so there's not a lot of uh, space used the white the white space you uh, signifies the what's available and the gray signifies what has been used so far so uh, so we have tested the microphone speakers Wi-Fi we want to go back and monitor the battery so when we started recording the video we had 92 percent that was about five minutes ago uh, and we are already down to 90 percent all right so we want to see what's going on with the battery let's check the battery cycles so go back to the apple symbols right there about this mac and this time we want to navigate to system report and in system report we want to navigate to power this should tell us the battery condition and how many cycles so under power on the left and then navigate to the right and right here you see the cycle count so it looks like the cycle count is 1355 let me try and zoom into there a little bit uh, can you see that 1355 cycles so that this means that this this battery has has uh, seen its days it's been used uh, quite a lot so at this point you can negotiate with the buyer and ask them hey this is a an older battery can you lower the price since i'm probably going to need a new battery in the future um they might say yes they might say no yeah go online and see how much your battery costs if you have a chance and for for your particular machine go online go on amazon go on ebay and check the battery price and then tell the seller hey the new battery is going to cost me this much can you take this much off the original price see what they say most of the time they'll say yes um if they are really looking to sell quickly so we have tested uh, the speakers wi-fi um, battery cycles dimness of the keyboard dimness of the screen we've tested the volume up and down batteries um, you also want to get a feel of the rest of the keys just play around with them Make sure that they are not sticky if they are sticky for some reason then this com the computer that you are buying has probably been exposed to some kind of um, liquid it might be a soda coffee or some other drink um so if you detect that then let the seller know hey there's some sticky keys here has this been exposed to uh, some kind of uh, liquid damage if they say no let them know that uh, you'd like a discount you're probably gonna need a keyboard in the future because the the keys are not responding correctly they are uh, being sticky if you notice that you are being pressured to buy the computer quickly have the sense enough to walk away from the deal it means that there might be something that the buyer doesn't the seller does not want you to see so they're trying to rush the deal as quickly as possible and get your money and you probably not, not hear from them again so slow down the deal by these checks or you can say can i call someone and ask for them for for their opinion that gives you time to slow down the transaction and also gives you time to think clearly because sometimes when we are in the middle of um, a transaction is somebody that we've never met before sometimes we feel nervous like oh i don't want to disappoint the stranger i just want to get this done quickly maybe you're excited about the computer but your excitement can quickly turn to sadness when you get home and the computer does not function as intended so do not trust what you hear from the person selling uh do your own checks don't listen to what they're saying just do your own checks pay the these things that uh, I have recommended or if you have any other recommendations please comment below and let me know what you usually check for what else you check for um, also check for physical damage to the MacBook or to the whatever computer you're buying uh, this one looks like it's not that bad there's some scratches some spiders here and there but there isn't any 
uh, extensive visible damage. If the computer is not turning on, walk away. If you are told that it's going to turn on when you get home, walk away because it's probably not going to turn on when you, when you when you get home if it's not turning on right now. Some people will say that, um, oh, this battery takes a while to charge, oh, this computer takes a while to turn on. It's going to turn on when you get home. Just walk away from that type of deal. Don't be pressured into buying something that you're not comfortable uh, buying. Um, these are the what I, I I look out for. Um, if you have any comments, suggestions, uh, please leave a comment below, your suggestion below. And um, please like, share, subscribe. I will make more videos in the future on other things to look out for on other types of computers. But in this video, I just used what was available, which was the the MacBook. Uh, thank you for liking, share, and subscribe. Thank you.